Zero Waste Living means simplifying your life. Finding key ingredients that can be used to make different products is one way to do that. In this video, I've selected 10 natural ingredients which are easy to find plastic free and can be used to create most, if not all of your zero waste skincare and bathroom products. Let's start with oils. Oils are perfect to use as part of a recipe or on their own. When used on their own, they can replace your moisturizer and also make a makeup remover. In fact, oil has the ability of dissolving oil. So massaging your skin with oil is a great way to get rid of impurities, dirt and makeup. There are so many different oils that are suitable for different skin types. One of the things that can help us choose is the comedogenic level of the oil. So that is the likelihood that an oil will clog your pores or not. I've included a blog post with more details about this in the description box below. Coconut oil is another oil which is a must-have if you want to make your own products to reduce waste. Because of its antibacterial and cleansing action, coconut oil is perfect to use in recipes such as deodorants, toothpaste or even dish soap. It's one of the few oils that is actually solid at room temperature, so it makes uh, also a great candidate if you want to obtain a solid product. Coconut oil is a comedogenic oil, so it should be used not very much on the face as it might clog pores. It absorbs slower than other oils and likes to sit on our skin, so it's actually great if you want to add protection and moisture to your body. Or if you want to give it a bit of shimmer and shine effect to a product like a lip balm. Butters are a great addition if you're thinking to produce your own natural and zero waste bath and beauty products. They're packed with vitamins and fatty acids, which are great to soften dry skin. Plus they make our zero waste solid products solid. You only need two kinds of butters to make a very wide range of zero waste beauty products. That is shea and cocoa butter. Shea butter is packed with vitamin E, is a natural moisturizer perfect for dry, sensitive and even eczema skin. Because shea butter has a very high melting point, it's actually particularly great for solid recipes where we want to keep some softness, but we don't want the mixture to melt down at high temperatures. Not only it adds hardness, but also stickiness and texture to products like, for example, a deodorant. If you're curious to try my all-time favorite shea butter deodorant, I will leave you the link in the description box below. Cocoa butter is also very moisturizing. Since it's so much harder than shea butter, it's excellent to use in recipes where you need the final product to be super hard, like for example, a shampoo bar or a solid lotion. Waxes are used to give extra hardness where we want a solid, completely unpackaged product, such as a solid lotion or a deodorant stick and we don't want these products to melt at high temperatures. Other than beeswax, there are a very wide range of plant waxes, so the key to choosing them is to check their melting point. A higher melting point means a harder wax, so you likely need less of it in your recipe. Next up on the list are starches. We use them in our DIY recipes because they help thicken up products and absorb moisture. Some examples are arrowroot powder or cornstarch. Both of them are great to create recipes where you need to absorb moisture like deodorants or to thicken up uh, a product like in bath bombs or even to make a product less greasy like a fluffy body butter. Essential oils are very concentrated plant extracts that capture a plant's essence and scent. As they are very strong compounds, you should always research the maximum allowed quantities depending on the type of essential oil and product. The essential oils that are used the most often in DIY recipes are lavender, tea tree and peppermint. Clays are great to use for the creation of face and hair masks. They are filled with minerals and have great cleansing and detoxifying properties. 
A small trick to choose which clays to work with is knowing if they are more suitable for sensitive or oilier skin types. And this normally depends on how strong their water absorption properties are. My favorite clay for a more sensitive skin is kaolin clay, while for a oilier skin is bentonite clay. Clays can also be used in shampoo bars to thicken the product and gently cleanse the scalp. Our botanical powders include plant extracts, dried plants and roots. They can be used to give extra purifying properties to our products or to color and decorate products such as soaps, shampoo bars, conditioner bars or lip balms. Just to name a few. Surfactants are detergent and their primary action is the one to pull off dirt and clean. There are different types of surfactants, some are more eco-friendly than others and some are milder than others. Some are solid and some are in a liquid form. To get started making your own shampoo bars, you can use just two of them, sodium coco oil isothionate and coca meter papil betaine. If you're curious and want to try to make your own shampoo bars, I have a recipe just for that, so I will link that in the description box below. Moving on to baking soda. Baking soda is a natural deodorant and abrasive ingredient, so it's perfect to use in a deodorant or a recipe that requires whitening, for example, a toothpaste or a paste scrub to whiten um, you know, the ceramic surfaces in your bathroom. Due to its very high pH, it's essential that it's used in very small quantities in order to avoid skin irritation or excessive abrasion. If you're sensitive to baking soda in deodorants, you can swap it with magnesium hydroxide, which is gonna give your deodorant more of an antiperspirant action. Every time you're introducing water or water-based ingredients in a recipe, you need to make sure to preserve the recipe from mold and bacteria. That's because mold and bacteria thrive in water and in pH balance formulations. Instead, very alkaline products like soap bars or very acidic ingredients like vinegar are self-preserving because bacteria cannot grow in those pH environments. So remember every time the conditions meet and you're introducing water to a product, you have to preserve it correctly. To preserve it, you need to include a broad spectrum eco-friendly preservative. For example, you can use benzyl alcohol and dehydroacetic acid. Make sure to check your uh, state's uh, regulations around which preservatives are allowed. But always remember that it's always, always safer to include a safe eco-friendly preservative rather than making an unsafe, unstable uh, product with water that could attract nasty mold and bacteria. And finally, remember, vitamin E is a powerful antioxidant that helps keep oils fresh, so it extends their shelf life, but it doesn't really act as a preservative. So never use vitamin E as a preservative. So there you have it, the 10 key ingredients to build your entire zero waste health and beauty routine. I hope you have enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below if there is a particular category of ingredients that you would like me to expand on for the next video.